Ben made it. Uh, so excited to be here. I've only ever driven through. Uh, it's nice to stop. I I nearly didn't take the gig. I'll be honest with you. I I, I was I've been busy. And Rob, a lovely Rob Brown. Give it up for Rob Brown doing a great job. Yeah, yeah. Fucking smashing gentleman. We said, do you want to do this showcase? We're going to film it. We're going to use it for corporate stuff. I said, oh, God, dude, it's one of my only nights off in the whole month. But I didn't want to let him down because he's like, oh, we need a minimum of, like, eight good comics. I'm like, fucking hell. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. But I put a bunch of stipulations that I thought would just rule it out. You know when you don't want to say no to someone and you want to be positive and go, yeah, 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 I'm involved. But however, can you make sure it's in a suburb with only two ways in and two ways out? And I thought that would fucking nail it, right? I thought that would do. So just to make sure, I threw in, and make it just at the shops, just at the local shops. <laughs> and then if you can set up the stage so that it looks like we might be at a comedy night or a motorcyclist's funeral. <laughs> I thought, fuck, that'll do it. <laughs> Night off, Linz. Here we are. So I'd like to say it's nice to be here, but you already know what my real sentiments are. Good on you. Thanks for coming, thank you. Thanks for laughing, that's helpful. Makes the other people feel less awkward about their anger. Good on you, you've got your arms folded though. You are right? you are cold? Are you just also scared about your surroundings? What's, uh, what's your name? Sorry, I've made that way too hard, haven't I? But... In my head, I was like, I'll talk to the crowd a little bit. Fuck, just ask normal questions. <laughs> just over there, I'm like, just name, name. Everyone knows their name. Boom. Fucked it. Sorry. That's no, my fault. I've made it too hard. I didn't even want to make it hard. I was trying to make the best of a funeral. <laughs> I don't even know the guy. What's, what's it? I gave you some time to think about it there. I was like, Professional pause. What are you, what, what's your name? No. Kelly. Fucking, there you go. Why? Is it a why? 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 Or just need to know the last letter. Oh, it is a why? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. I was thrown off by her answering really quickly. <laughs> Thank you. The eyes have it. Uh, are you a local, Kelly? Yes, a local Kelly, good on you. In the paper, I won't find you like, local Kelly likes, never mind, it's not. <laughs> I love this suburb, can't decide what it is. Forest, lake, fuck, let's not argue. <laughs> I think it's Aboriginal for where the trees meet the water. <laughs> Don't panic, Kelly with a Y. Do you have a job, Kelly with a Y? Yes? This place has improved. What are you... Seriously, take you five people to get a yes out of people like years ago when I was here. What are you doing, Kel? You work for the government. All right, so we we're only halfway there all along. Fair enough. Obviously, you had today off and whatever other day you liked. What... They're not sick, he's just a fucking RDO, just having an RDO. Spent two days above my level. Had to use a photocopier. Fuck off! <laughs> Next time there's an election, I'm switching! <laughs> what departmente are you in there? That's Spanish for department. Kelly, what, uh, what department are you in for the government? 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 Oh, you're not even sure. Fair enough. <laughs> that actually makes me feel better, because we've got no fucking idea what you people are doing either. Thanks very much. Thank you. One of the things I was thinking to myself before I came out here was just be nice to people, Liz. Oh, I know, but how fortunate that it turns out you work for the government. So even though I've been a little bit crude, everyone else is on board. They're like, shut up for my 10%, Kelly. Just shut the fuck up. You don't even know. Do you know what job you do? You see, it's not that hard, Kelly. Ask you. Fuck, everyone's getting involved, Kelly, you see? 
This is what non-government people are like. They want to help, even though you didn't ask them. They're like, fuck, I'll help you, Lynx. What's your name? Kylie. Kylie. Even has the same starting letter, Kelly. You work for the government. Oh, we were doing so well. There's two Ks. Let's find a third one and get some bed sheets. What the fuck is going on here? What about you, fella? What's your name? I'm Greg. That's good. Good on you, Greg. That's a normal name. Do you work for the government? No, you don't. Look how fucking happy he is. Look at that smile. Not me, mate. I pay tax like you. Fuck off. Talk to someone else. That's what that smile says. What do you do, fella? You write software. OK, well, a lot of people... It's not your turn, motherfucker. Like... I'm a taxpayer. You only get 10% of the show. Fuck off. The other 90% is for ordinary people. Software. I reckon Kelly would have seen a fair bit of software. Throw it back the other way. Fuck yeah. And sleep. Okay, so. Good for you. There's a man on the end looking at anything but not the stage because he doesn't want me to talk to him. Oh fuck, maybe he's right. Maybe a gypsy joker did fall off his bike. <laughs> What's your name, fella? R. Caleb with an R in front. Good on you. Are you a pirate? <laughs> Arr, Caleb, Arr. We're gonna go and see a comedy show, Pocky Boat in the Lake, Arr, Arr. Good on you, Caleb. Did you have a job as well? Ah, uh, yes, okay, well, follow the theme. Fuck yeah, get involved. <laughs> what do you do, Caleb? You're a draftsman? Fantastic. You're in charge of making sure there's a tiny gap under every door. What a great job. Oh, that door's way too low. Nothing's getting through there. My brother sells snakes. You know those cotton sawdust filled ones? Fuck yeah, it sells heaps of them. Just knocks on the door after I've been. There's a chili in here. Fuck yeah, ever since Caleb came past, we've got this real. Boy, you in luck. You want to buy a three-foot sawdust sausage? <laughs> what the fuck? It's called a snake. I'll take two. <laughs> How long you been putting the drafts in, Caleb? Five years. Did you ever want to be an alesman instead? It's a beer joke. If the draft was coming from the lounge room, he would have been an insider. <laughs> Thank you. That joke was for four people. I'm glad that no one that didn't deserve it jumped on. Excuse me while I drink beer, Caleb. Does anyone else here drink beer uh, whilst they're at work? Sorry, I wasn't finished. Yes? Got a truck driver in the front row. Good idea. Got to wash those pills down with something, haven't you? Gotta... Fuck, I'm not even in my truck yet. <laughs> it's a good job. I like it, someone yelling out, Skull it. Yeah! Like it's my day off. I love this job, it's a great job. You should love your job. I'm, I'm sure you do, being a truck driver, and you do, working for us. Uh, <laughs> I think everyone should like their job. I love this job. I work predominantly at night time. I get day times for myself. I can do what I like during the day. I can go to the park, catch a movie, get down to the shops. I live with a lady that's got a couple of kids. I hang out with them. Well, she's my wife. They're our kids. <laughs> the good kids, we made them the old-fashioned way. Drugs and alcohol. 
I mean, it's funny now, but it costs the same as IVF. <laughs> they're a little slow off the start, but they're good kids. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> good. They're 11 and 9. Nothing prepares you for having children, does it? Nothing prepares you. You can say to your friends that already have children, people you've known and loved for years, hey, we're thinking about having kids. What do you think? That's what we said. And they went, oh, you'll love it. Oh, it's the best days of your life. They just lied to our fucking faces. <laughs> Never mention anything about spare time fucking off with everything in your wallet. Peace and quiet's a thing of the past. Had to manufacture that now, haven't I? Yeah, had to make reasons to have peace and quiet as an adult parent. Told my kids early, no talking to dad while he's doing his shit. <laughs> That's my little cupboard of quiet over there. Get no chat. Do you know how many pretend poos I do in a day? <laughs> no, me neither, but the number's getting up there because I came out from one yesterday. Kids were Googling irritable bowel syndrome. <laughs> It's a good job. I like this job. But having days off, days to myself, daytime where I don't have to do anything, big companies, major corporations have worked out that I do fuck all during the day. And have started making me do jobs that I never wanted to do, right? Jobs I didn't even apply for. I work part-time at the supermarket sometimes because of the self-serve fucking checkout, right? I didn't, I didn't apply for that job. You don't even know when you're rostered on. Just turn up at the shop, it's Tuesday afternoon, I might buy some snacks, boom, you work here. What? No uniform, no training, no name badge, you don't fit in with the other people. First shift ever, I walked up to the computer boss, computer boss asks a trick question. A trick question, right? It says, are you using your own bag? I'm like, fuck. It was back like two years ago when you still got a free plastic bag at the shops because it was, I don't know, 1997 and fuck the dolphins. Not in the top hole, that's where they breathe. <laughs> oh, don't groan at me like you've never put something where someone breathes before. <laughs> Probably did it on purpose. <laughs> no tuna was harmed in the making of that joke. Computer boss says, you're using your own bag. I'm like, fuck, I don't know. I didn't bring one, but that one's free, so technically it's mine. <coughs> I hit yes. I thought, fuck it, let's just take a punt. I hit yes. Boom. Made it through to round two. I was stoked. <laughs> Scan my item, put it in the bag. Computer boss says, you didn't put your item in the bag. I'm like, what the fuck? There's a G up. I've clearly put the item in the bag. I was trying not to lose my shit. I leaned down and said, sorry, mate. You might have missed it. I've put it in. Me. Just ignored me like I'd said nothing. She says, you haven't bought your item in the bag? I'm like, you fucking kidding? This is my first shift ever. You know I have no training. What the fuck is going on here? I started thinking maybe this is the second part of the interview. See how you handle yourself under pressure? Other people are yelling out, can you fucking hurry up, mate? It's my first shift. I'm trying to sort this conundrum out without using the supervisor, right? That's when I realised maybe what I was purchasing wasn't heavy enough to weigh down the machine. I'm, I was, things are going well, so I was buying a big bag of cheesels. I went to push them down, I heard about eight of them break. I'm like, fuck, this is the worst day at work ever. Then the computer boss says, you put too many items in the bag. Oh, mate, kicks off. Can you fucking hurry up, mate? It's my first. I nearly needed anxiety leave from a job that I never fucking applied for. <coughs> Mental health's a big issue. Why the fuck are they putting me under this pressure, right? I don't want to work at the shops. I'm not even good at shopping. When I go shopping, I make a list so that I can get in there and get the fuck out of there quickly, right? If I put onions on the list, I grab onions and go about the shopping. Not realising, now that I work there, there's going to be a quiz in a half an hour's time. Where I'm going to be expected to name those fucking onions. <laughs> well, who knew there were so many 
types of onions. Red onion, white onion, spring onion, Spanish onion, cocktail. Oh, for fuck's sake! Hurry up, mate! It's my first day! <laughs> After five minutes of trying to work out what sort of onions they were, you know what sort of onions they were? Zucchinis. Cheapest onions I could find. <laughs> Seriously, now that I'm working there, heaps of things are cheaper. <laughs> you know, razor blades used to be expensive, not anymore. Just grab two packets, put them on the weighing machine, and hit kiwi fruit. Heaps cheaper and good for your skin. <laughs> Seriously, I never wanted to steal from the supermarket before, but now, now that I'm working there, <laughs> A, they've made it too easy. B, I'm a disgruntled employee, right? <laughs> and when I say they've made it too easy, I'm not fucking around. They put one person from the shop that actually works there with a name badge and everything in charge of watching the brand new people do their first shift ever. <laughs> Worst job in the whole shop. I don't know what you did, but the fucking manager hates you if you work in that section. You can't see everything. If you want to see everything, you've got to be like a meerkat on acid. <laughs> and because they can't see everything, if you want to steal from them, you've just got to perfect one thing. It's just a noise. Just put your hand over the barcode, make the noise yourself. Boop. <laughs> Boop. Free. Free, 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 scan it twice, still fucking free, man, get <laughs> Fuck them, they're gonna make me work there, I'm staying for stock take, that's the deal. My name's Lindsay Webb, you've been absolutely wonderful. Thanks for sticking around the whole night, you've been great, you've been really good. Thank you very much, we'll see you next time, good night.